Hi guys, uh, this is Mr. Viz. So let's start uh, the zombie AI. So hope you guys seen my uh, showcase video on uh, V1.9 that shows the capabilities of uh, the zombie that we are going to prepare. So that's just the beginning. So I'll be enhancing that further. So before uh, proceeding with that, I thought of making the tutorials of it. Uh, let's start with that to begin with uh, i have already import uh, imported uh, some zombie meshes and uh, uh, some animations that i'll be using mostly i downloaded from mixamo and i i had made some uh, zombie skeletal meshes so for instance uh, this one and so this is downloaded from Mixamo. So what I did was after downloading, I just uh, converted all of these to uh, uh, UE skeleton. If you see the skeleton, uh, this is rigged to UE skeleton. So uh, the reason I did that was I, I wanted to use a single animation BP and uh, all the meshes I use for zombie uh, will be using the same anim, anim BP. So uh, with a single uh, base character, I'll be able to use different uh, skeletal meshes. Uh, you can either uh, crea uh, create an uh, UE, UE skeleton or you can download uh, uh, characters from Mixamo and use, them, use it with Mixamo skeleton uh, itself. So it's your uh, choice. For me, I thought it is better to uh, use the UE skeleton, so I just uh, uh, used Auto Rig Pro to uh, uh, rig them with uh, UE4 skeleton. I also downloaded some animations from Mixamo, so especially we needed uh, idle animation, this one, then uh, zombie run, and uh, zombie walking, then zombie attack. I have two attack animations. And the uh, mantle animation uh, is from uh, ALS V4. I have a separate video on uh, on the channel on how to export uh, uh, animations from ALS project and uh, to include it with uh, uh, UE4 skeleton. So you can refer that. I'll uh, uh, put the link in description. And one falling animation. So this I have to modify a bit to. Uh, uh, suit it for a zombie. So this is the normal falling uh, animation from Mixamo. So these are the animations we need as of now. Uh, so before we start with the blueprints, let me recap. You need characters, characters that are rigged uh, either with UE4 skeleton or zombie skeleton, and animations uh, and downloaded animations matching the same skeleton. So this is the prerequisite. Uh, so once you guys get ready with that, it will be easy for you to uh, start with the tutorial. Okay, so let's start. Um, first, I'll uh, create a folder to organize my uh, blueprints. Inside that, I'll uh, create a blueprint class character, and I'll name it as zombie character base so as you said I, uh, my meshes are with the uh, UE4 skeleton so I will better select uh, one of my characters here I am going to go with I okay, will go with this character we have to position it uh, right Okay, so this should be fine. Let's create some variables that we need. Health and it has to be in float. Then zombie state and this should be an enum. Uh, let's create the enum for uh, different states. Let's 
let's put the states here uh, as of now uh, we just need three states one is idle then chase player then dead so set the type to the created enum then create a variable can roam and this has to be in float sorry uh, this has to be in boolean and make it instance editable uh, I think this should be fine for now uh, other variables we will uh, create when we need them and one more thing uh, uh, with this tutorial is I will not be using nav mesh uh, for the uh, zombie to navigate and also I will not be using uh, behavior tree so instead of that we will we are going to manage everything from uh, the blueprint itself okay before going to event tick we need to uh, uh, create couple of uh, uh, events so switch on zombie state so based on the uh, state we are setting the zombie will behave accordingly okay so we will uh, separately code for uh, each of these states so first let's start with uh, zombie idle so we are going to make the zombie to roam only if uh, uh, roaming is enabled so that we can customize for uh, each zombie uh, whichever we want to make it roam and ignore the ones uh, just to make them stand idle we need one more variable We just we are just making sure again that uh, the zombie is still uh, it, it is still in uh, uh, idle state because the reason is we will we'll add a de delay here so that uh, each zombie uh, moves to the position and then uh, it, it, it waits for a certain second uh, before it goes to the next position. give your custom range uh, how much time uh, you want the uh, zombie to be uh, in, uh, in in standing position before it goes to the next position so i am giving it as 0.5 to 5 seconds so the reason we are checking again here is after uh, this delay if the zombie state has changed we have to make sure that it is still in the idle state so, so that it roams So now set this roaming to true. Now we need to decide where the zombie should move. So for that we will create a variable. This has to be vector. And again, we will get that as a, a random location. So, how to get that? Make vectors. So, we will get the actor's current location. Split it. And we will add it to float. Then connect it here. Do the same thing for y. 
and Z will connect it straight. Okay. Then uh, for uh, the adding value, we'll again take a random float in range. Both for X and Y. This value you can set it to your uh, liking. So for me, I thought 300 minus 300 and plus 300 suits bits. You can customize this value to your liking and depending upon your map. And also you can uh, promote this to a variable and uh, set it as a common thing. So you can do it in whichever way you want. And then uh, once we have the uh, roam target location, we need to set actors rotation so that uh, the actor uh, turns towards the target location. So to do that, we will be using a timeline so that the character rotates uh, smooth Add a timeline. Play it from start. Okay. On this timeline, set the total length to one. Add a function alpha. So this is how the timeline will look. We will just set it to auto so that it hits in, in this curve so that uh, it gradually increases and goes to the point. So now we have uh, the alpha. We will use this to set the actor's rotation. Active rotation, new rotation. Now we have to find out uh, uh, the look at rotation of the target uh, uh, location. So to do that, I'll get actual location and get unit direction from actor location to our roam location so this is how it should be and uh, similarly find find look at rotation again for that the starting will be your actor uh, location and the target will be your roam location and once this is done we have to do a look Load rotators and target uh, is from look at location. And yes. So, like this, and alpha connected here. shortest path and this unit direction will be used to move the character to uh, uh, the, uh, the, the target point. So take this and add movement input. So this should be linked to the world direction and we cannot connect this directly here. We have to connect it to Here is roaming true, so take this connect it to add movement, so that uh, the, the the zombie character will be rotating to the target uh, towards the target uh, point, and then it will start moving to to the target point. So this is fine, and after that we have to make sure that uh, the the character reached that target point. For that we will just add a branch. Here we will get the actor location, get actor location, 
and room location we will check whether the actor's current location is equal to the room uh, uh, target location but we cannot ensure or uh, we cannot make sure every time it it, it reaches that point so we'll get to we'll give a tolerance value of 50 and if it is true then we will set it to uh, is roaming to false okay so the uh, setting this to false will make sure that uh, it again searches for a new point and then uh, start moving so uh, our idle uh, zombie idle event is this so we will connect this to zombie idle okay, now let's test this I'll add the character base here Okay, can room. I haven't set that to true, so I'll uh, set that. And room to true. Okay, so the character is moving to the point. So it's picking up a random location based on the number we set and it's moving to the point okay i'll close the video for uh, uh, now and we'll continue in the next video thanks for watching bye